Wow! Am I a man of my word or what? You're right, mate. Brilliant. Tony Howie. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. This is Zig. Brilliant. Zig. Hi, Tony. Well, I know you. Woo. All righty. Yeah. Give right. me three, Tony. <laughs> Whoa. Love it. Right. Love it. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tony, first of all, why are football, you in this little country of ours? I've come over to coach American football with the Dublin Tornadoes. Right. Wow. So this is the off season in America now. So you have a sort of the summer off. Right. I, uh, our season goes from September to December. Right. And we train for most of the spring. So I've got a couple of months off. Can I let my breath out now? I'm trying to look. I was, I was <laughs> no chance. <laughs> yeah. No right. way, Rosie. <laughs> no way. No, no, it's myself and Tone, you know. It's me and Tone. Sort of, there's a bit of an imbalance over this side. It's myself and Tone. We're it's sort me of and in Tone. We're, we're, we're sort of in the same league. Look at that. 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 Marcel! Was there this morning? <laughs> so, Tony, what I'm position do you play in American football? I play linebacker and tight end. Woo! Right, explain that to us. Okay, a linebacker is a defensive player. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Like that, yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, basically responsible for making the tackle of the ball. So, you're in the line when you go, oh, oh, you're in the opposing, the, you're in the line that haven't got the right, ball. Yeah. The, right, yeah. The guys, well, when the guys have the ball, I go and hit them. What if there's a guy like. Five million pounds in weight, monster like a bulldozer, running right. straight at you. You wouldn't be scared, like you'd go straight for him, wouldn't you? Absolutely, right for the jugular, right for the neck. Because you have to be a bit, a bit mean. <laughs> hey, Tony, who writes the numbers on the field? Um, oh. This guy, Jim. Um, I, tell you, I don't know that much about. You know what? I mean, he gets them right every time. It's the same numbers on every field you ever see. It's brilliant. Flies I mean, all over the world. Line, so Johnny, can I ask you a question? You, you know when you get in and you yeah. Yeah. huddle around and yeah. right. <laughs> time out? <laughs> what do people say? What's said there? What's said? Well, the quarterback comes into the huddle and all the players listen attentively, very quietly. Yeah. Right. And they all stand in a certain position. The right. quarterback comes in, he'll say the play. Like, uh, so you, you've, you've sorted this out in the dressing room that we're going to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And he's Tactics! Called, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. We've got a game plan together. The coach will send in a play to the quarterback. The quarterback will get in the huddle and he'll say, like, 32 fire. On two, then he'll get up to the line. The whole he'll say, "Ready, break!" Oh, Clap your hands like that. Oh. You run up to the line of scrimmage, right? Yeah. Run up to the line of scrimmage, and you're ready to play. And then he'll get up there and he'll make a cadence. He'll go down, set, set. Hut. 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 and then we explode off the line and score a touchdown. Tony, how much money what? do you have? I got. Uh, I don't know. I can't get used to this Irish money. I got, I think, a pound. Yeah, that'll do. I'll talk to you later, right? Okay. Brand. So, like, you're over coaching people over here. Right. And, uh, so what are they like what with do the you have to... tornadoes down? I mean, how do they compare with, say, American teams? With American teams? Yeah. Well, they're a little bit behind. We've been playing the game in America for about 150 years, and they've only been playing it here for about five years. Wow. So, we're not as big, are we? We're not as big. You got some big guys. I was surprised. I, I, I coached the t tornadoes for the first time on uh, Sunday afternoon, and there's some big guys. They're, have you ever uh, played they're ready rugby? to play. Yes, I have. What do you think? Uh, it's a completely different game. Yeah, I mean, and you're not allowed to wear, like he wears, he wears pads when he's playing, you know? No! Oh, you don't wear pads playing oh, rugby. That's a bit no. girly, come on, it <laughs> yeah. is a bit. A yeah, bit but girly. Ray, if he didn't wear pads, when you, when he ran into you, his shoulder would probably go straight through your shoulder. Yeah, Ray! Absolutely. Oh, that's why pads. Yeah. Absolutely. So tell us about the safety gear, like this is the helmet. It weighs right. Like, whew, just yeah, they're pretty heavy. Well, just... <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ray. That's really good. Thanks. Feels even better when it's on your neck. Yeah. Come here. Do you have? Uh, I you, you guys just, you, you just guys just continue. Yourselves. Okay. Come here. Do you have walkie-talkies in the helmet sometimes? They do in the, on the one TV now, the uh, World League. They have walkie-talkies, but nobody else does. Built into the helmet. What, what, what happens about, when what the about guys? The coach. You know the coach. He's down at the. You let me ask a and question. Who's he talking what? to? Because he's, up, he's talking to. If you watch on American TV, the stadiums are huge, and they got these booths way up on the top of the stadium. And there's another guy who's watching from up there. Because right. when you're on the sideline, you can't see a thing because there's just too many people flying around. It's the same as in soccer. If you're right yeah. down the field, you can't see a thing. But if you're up in the stands, obviously you can see better. So there's a guy up there who sends messages. Do you know the guys who answer the phone? Messages. Like some of the players go over and they pick up a phone. Right. What? That's just someone from up in the box saying, it's probably the girlfriend you're rubbish. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, basically, you know, his mother could be, you know, sometimes yeah. the grocery list is, is required. Don't forget yeah. the, don't forget the, um, Cause life the must crackers go on. on the way home. Life must go on. What That's about the, the cheerleaders? Oh! Hey! hey. They're great. Hey! 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 Wink, wink. Uh, we have cheerleaders. Uh, see, I also go to school in the United States. I go to the University of Notre Dame, which is... Uh, Heard of it. There's a guy there, isn't there? Um, no, I'm not... No, yeah. go on. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. He's got a hunch, hasn't he? <laughs> I've got, got a hunch. I want each other. Oh, that's him. Yeah, you've probably heard that four million times. Uh, and we, have, we have some great-looking cheerleaders. cheerleaders. They're great. They, they just stand there and they and encourage us on. Do cheerleaders have to audition? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a, big it's a heavy, thing, heavy training thing. Because yeah. we saw something on TV over here about it. Like, there's a big competition to get in to be a cheerleader. Yeah, yeah. Be, yeah. You have to be brilliantly, not just good looking, but you also have to be a bit intelligent as well. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> no, no. no. My Hold experience on. dictates and otherwise. Can boys be cheerleaders? <laughs> yeah, actually, they do have some boy cheerleaders. It's exactly. They, they get to throw the women around. Exactly. Which, well, exactly. that's different over but here. They don't I wear suppose, dresses. But. They don't wear dresses. Oh, do they? No. 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 <laughs> The, the interest has died. The interest has died. Right, so. They wear, they, wear right. white, they wear tight white pants, though, if, oh. if that's any consolation. There's a thing! There's you know. <laughs> yeah. Wow! Come here! <laughs> well, you, um, you're playing college football at the moment, is it? Yeah, well, I'm coaching college football. I, I played at Queen's University in Canada, and then I, I became a coach, and then I went down to the United States to become a coach there. Right. At the University of Notre Dame. So, would your ambition to be a sort of a, a professional coach? That would be great. That would be great. That would be a dream. Um, there's a lot of opportunities in the States and a lot more opening up here, so... How much money would you get then for a year if you're a professional Ten coach? Million. Ten million pounds. Wow! Oh. That's probably more than Ray gets <laughs> in a whole lifetime. Exactly. Yeah. I thought you were going to say a week. <laughs> no. Tony, not that thanks for coming in. Hey, my pleasure. Thanks, Tony! 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 We'll see you again. I'm glad with your summer here. Thanks very much. Great. Thanks for and George. We're back in 25 minutes' time. We'll see you then. Bruise. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that.